Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're watching more of the TED Show. And if you guys want us to watch the rest of the show, get this video to 15,000 likes. And if you want to see our full commentary, you can do so over on our Patreon. You can also vote on what we watch next. And subscribe so you can get a real TED in your room. Everybody needs a best Everybody needs needs a best friend. friend. I'm happy I'm TED, bro. I play TED in this in We this almost episode. never see that room, though. I'm going to travel to Florida and... It wasn't even a room. It was the outside of the house. I don't think any of those jokes made it in the first fucking TED video, bro. So shut the fuck up. Editor, put them in the goddamn video, dude. That's they don't funny. even get it. No one gets it. What the hell? Hey, what the fuck are you supposed to be? I'm the Hulk. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> this is days. Bring me back to Boston in like 08 when they were doing this. This is way better than any Halloween party I've been to. <laughs> hey, you ever notice how the Hulk only talks about himself in the third person? I know, he's like Bob Dole. That kid will return. He's gonna kill them this episode. He, he comes back, he's like fucking roided. I thought you were gonna rent scary movies. I did. Walt Disney's Watcher in the Woods? What the fuck? Chainsaws are lazy and obvious. This is cerebral. They're about to get fucked off a Disney movie, dude. D does Disney have scary movies? Is this Cap or Fax chat? Bro, he is shitting himself. No, 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 no I don't like this. This is not no. good. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. The reactions are crazy. No, no, no. Come on. Stop it. Come on. Stop it. Come yeah, once again, we are reacting to people reacting. Yeah, it's like, who reacts to the reactors? And we found out the answer. Sharon is conscientiously objecting to this costume party tonight, so I need a designated driver. Can you do it? Me? Ted can't drive a car. He's too short. Oh, he does drive in the movie, remember? And then he crashes, like, the first fucking scene in the movie. So you have a few drinks. Big deal. You know what nobody ever talks about with drunk driving? How fun it is. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yo, shout out drunk driving. You start drinking, bro, get that man some car keys. That's what I say. Why do you need to shower? Do you, does he sweat? In the last episode, he said he's not supposed to get wet. Seth MacFarlane is a hack, and this is not canon. I'm washing my bear parts. Get lost. There's no bear parts. Why is he wearing the goddamn towel? <laughs> oh, he, he looks, looks so, so funny. good. me god this is such a shitty troll he should drive blair like she is asking so little for all she's done for them it's fucking blair you open that door she's gonna be right there with a fucking blindfold oh my god is he actually scared he's so paranoid i'll open the window she's gonna be there <laughs> oh my god she's the goat <laughs> all right god damn it oh my god wait ted's dressing up too that's my goat yo <laughs> It's an Ewok. And Ted, you're Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. We're gonna miss the first round. Yeah, but that's just the little kids. We'll have plenty of time to shame the puberty crowd. Oh yeah, they're throwing eggs at children. He's like, bro, I got plans, man. I gotta throw eggs at children. So Ted gets to go to a college party. This is fucking awesome. That is kind of funny. Like Ted didn't get excited at all about the prospect of going to a college party. Like he did not want to go. He would much rather get high and throw eggs at children. <laughs> <laughs> you have one of those is better than the other. Want a drink? I can't. I'm driving. Oh, too bad. I always wanted to do a shot with a teddy bear. Fuck it. I'm not driving yet. <laughs> how, how quick is this bear's metabolism? I always wanted to smoke weed with a teddy bear. Dude, he gets girls so easy. He did not even last 30 seconds. I always wanted to snort my ADHD meds with a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I love the escalation, bro. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And be careful of the razor blades, all right? They're everywhere. Oh my gosh, she watches the news, bro. She watches I hate the news. Those, fucking, those rumors, bro. Shut your bitch ass up. Let me eat my candy. Isn't it literally like that razor blades thing has only happened once? Moms are always too fucking paranoid, dude. Hey, mom, do we have any more chip? Take a long look, Johnny. What? <laughs> he did take a long look. He took a long look. You'd much rather walk in on your parents having sex than whatever the fuck was going on there. Yeah, no, I'm not getting in a car with you. Look, what's done is done, but we both promised Johnny we'd get me back in time for Egan. She's leaving the college Halloween party at 8.30. It, when the fuck did it start? It's supposed to start at like 8.30. What <laughs> party has she gone to? Yeah, they're getting fucking wasted at 7 p.m. Uh, Professor Damon, hi. Who's this now? The professor is seeing her. And who's Lawrence of Arabia here? <laughs> <laughs> I love old people. Why don't you come up to the house for a minute? Something I'd like to talk to you about. I just went to the store. I could whip us up a little caprese salad. What the hell is going on here? Is the professor trying to f**k? 
To eat salad with your professor? Who the fuck cares? My latest work is a piece of historical fiction that examines race and class in 19th century New England. This is me being like, yeah, so we reacted to the TED show today. It was one of the most exquisite reactions we did this week. Oh, and are you like that? <laughs> no, well, I'm discussing wine with my, my colleagues. You're discussing I'm, I'm, wine with my colleagues? Mmm, <laughs> this Trolls movie was quite excellent. It, it evokes the best of James Joyce without feeling derivative or overly orient. Hey, how'd you get inside my head? <laughs> <laughs> Honest head reaction. Ted is like, pissed. We're sitting here wasting time because this fucking dog just wants to bang you. I know when I'm being hit on, okay? I have seven uncles. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, there's so much that comes with that line. As Boris said, with every goodbye, you learn. As Steinbeck said. Oh my god, just f already. Like I can't handle I can't handle this annoying, these annoying pretentious fucking literary heads. It's like having sex with Oppenheimer, bro. Like, can we quit it with the quotes, bro? Like, I'm not trying to read while I'm fing you. Unless we're reading like Captain Underpants. Can you fucking watch the road? That was a red light. I see it. I just I I choose not to let it define. <laughs> That's a beautiful statement. It's always beautiful when the poetry comes out. That man is a brilliant writer. And what are you? A deadbeat teddy bear with a drug problem. Hey, at least I have a drug problem. <laughs> at least I have a drug problem. Why did you let him drive? <laughs> he cannot even. Oh my god, he crashed. Run. Hit and run. Just hit and run at that point. Just... Bro's about to get a DUI as a teddy bear. Can he really be arrested? John, this is Will, the boy I was telling you about. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Oh my oh. god, he's so old. This place is like a mansion. <laughs> I'm gonna go make you boy some spooky cookies. Ooh. This mother, she was lobotomized as a child. A little bit about myself. I work in quality control at General Mills. I inspect every batch of breakfast cereal. I'm the last line of defense between your mouth and rat feces. I hope you're good at your job. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of archetype of person is he? I own every Steely Dan album. I'm an expert dungeon master. Bro, I love Steely Dan. Why does this fucking General Mills rat feces guy have to like him as well? Well, every white guy in their 30s likes Steely Dan, Jack, so join the club of, of white men in their 30s. All right, I'm joining them. You check this out. Oh my god, they're just fing. Oh my god, they're just fing. My mom won't let me look at the real stuff because of cigarette ads. He's got a lucrative career on uh, DVD. He's a pretty good artist. Him. Careful, McDonald's apple pies are always a little hot. No! Ah! The McDon they did not get the McDonald's sponsorship. They were gonna get a sponsorship from McDonald's, but Seth MacFarlane could not make this joke. Probably cooled off by now, though. Oh, God damn it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, though. I don't know. Every time I've had an apple pie, they fucking do that shit. We're not too far from campus. Why don't we just walk back and use Damon's phone? That it? What? He's probably back there right now, boiling the cushion you sat on to make soup stock. <laughs> That's so specific. Ted's probably did something similar in his life. Ted's 10 years ahead of Gamer Girl Bathwater. Have you ever seen an old man piss? It, it's like a, a melted pint of coffee ice cream. There's a sadness to it. Almost like it remembers how it used to look. Ted has such a well-developed opinion on old man piss. He was in Hollywood, right? He was forced to see a lot. That's why he left. He had to run in with Harvey Weinstein and he was like, all right, I'm out. You like movies? Don't touch him. Both Blair and John are like dealing with the same issue, but in, in the same way, you know what I mean? Professor Damon, we're so sorry to inconvenience you like this. Not at all. I'm happy for the company. He's a lonely man looking for a lonely little cat, bro. Let her meow with him, Ted. Let her date a man that's like 30 years older than him. All right, buddy. You and me got to have a little talk. Oh, I'd love to. Uh, how about I freshen your drink first? He wants to f the bear. Is he going to roofie Ted? Yeah, how is this gonna work here? For him, it's like playing mini golf. <laughs> <laughs> He's running. Just run. Hello, Ted. <gasps> he wants you. Oh what? What? <laughs> Dude, he's the first furry. I want to make love to you. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you. You're. Furry. Furries have You're always furry. existed through all of human history. And he is rich. He's a rich professor. That's why he can afford the Ted fursuit. Blair's really into you. I don't care. I don't date other bears. I could be a pony if you prefer, or a bird with colorful plumage and a functioning cloaca. <laughs> and he's playing fucking Bolero in the background. Hey, professor, do you mind if I use your bathroom? 
Blair. Bro, she got an A in this class, dude. She got an A in this class for the rest of her fucking tenure at uh, university, bro. And the homage to Tennyson, did that play at all? Uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Never meet your heroes, dude. This is like you go to furry con and then like you're talking to someone, they take off the fursuit and it's like your high school teacher. Keep this quiet. I have a reputation as a guy who... On one condition. You make Blair your research assistant. No way. I don't think she wants to work with him. Oh, and one more thing. We're gonna need your bike. Oh my God, it's E.T. <laughs> it's oh so God. beautiful. It's beautiful. Dude, it all wraps together. That's so good. Oh, hi, Johnny. You want to feel some spooky eyeballs? Oh my goodness, the peeled grapes. Mom, can you get this sex offender out of here? <laughs> Even when you were still in my guts, you used to kick my cervix, but I knew it was you just saying hi. The way the mother is written just makes me feel bad. I love her. She's so helpless. It's it's like watching a puppy with broken arms or something. But she's forcing her son to hang out with a sex offender, bro. Like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck, what? Who just comes over to somebody's house and gets in their tub? It's called making the most out of life. Some people wait for an invite to the party. I started. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh Register. god, oh god. Why is the water black? Carpe diem, Johnny. What the <laughs> fuck does that mean? When you see a chance to turn your day around, grab it! You know, this is a nice lesson, but he's naked. And 40. Eggs? Ostrich eggs. Each one's about 24 chicken eggs. What the hell am I supposed to do with these? Oh my. Carpe diem sees the day. He's gonna oh egg. He's gonna egg the ostrich eggs. Resolution. God. Dude, he's about to clock a kid in the head and kill them. Those eggs are huge. Hey, who are you? The Dark Knight? I'm Batman. Ah! He's gonna knock a kid out. Olympic figure skater Scott Hamilton. Oh man, you're gonna have enough trouble. Keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> that kid looked like fucking Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle. Oh dude, he, they're gonna, he's gonna throw it at them! Oh wait, E.T., take this, you Reese's piece of shit! <laughs> 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 this is peak cinema. I was almost f***ed by a professor, but now I got a moped, so it's fine. <laughs> no. There's one more thing I gotta do tonight. Oh my god, he's gonna scare the shit out of her. <laughs> I'm already laughing at it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Me and Johnny always think you're like this buzzkill, but tonight was kind of fun. Aw. She's like the summer of the show. A McDonald's apple pie? Yeah. Yeah, I was saving it, but uh, it's all yours. I've had it in the freezer for two months, so it's probably cooled off by now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's still on fire. Can I help you? Hey, I'm Carol's son. I just got home from a party. My mom told me to come here and hang out with somebody named John. Wait, you're Carol's son? <laughs> My Jesus, that was Jesus. Rock and roll all night. This show got better music than the Trolls movie. Can we talk about that? They're listening to the Guitar Hero 3 soundtrack right now. I want to rock and roll all night and pad of every day. Like, like they're only going to rock and roll for like a portion of the day. This <laughs> is the most realistic high conversation ever. <laughs> Holy shit. Did we die? I was making his brownies. Now I'm not gonna know who the new stars are gonna be. He's literally the worst husband on the planet and she's just so stupid that it enables him so hard. It's such a terribly dysfunctional family. Spiders. Are you serious? So he can jerk <laughs> off a dog in Vietnam, but he can't touch a spider? Is that what I'm is that what I'm seeing right now? <laughs> well he didn't jerk off a spider. Maddie, is it alright? Ah, break a shot to hell. I'm gonna have to call a guy in the morning. Oh my god! He is the most pathetic man on the planet. It wasn't when I was down there, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, it's okay, honey. We know you were scared of the spider. <laughs> no way. Oh, he's just gonna deny it the entire episode. It's more pathetic that he's pretending. Screw all of you. Maddie, why? I'm not scared of the goddamn spider, Susan. Dude, he jumped off a dog like three episodes ago. That's way more embarrassing. And I want to thank him for his service. God damn, God bless America. You guys need marriage counseling. Oh, fuck that. What's the matter? Are you scared of therapy too? Oh, oh it's on, shit. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They're being entertained by their own parents' drama right now. Well, they're just so high. I will pay for one marriage counseling session. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. For the sake of something interesting happening this episode, we're gonna go to marriage counseling. Did you get your pants from the Lost and Found? Yeah, these pants are a little big. 
Wait, this guy's still their teacher? This guy's about to fucking d cry. He kind of looks like a an American John Oliver. And now that I've moved back in with mother, I have to masturbate into the toilet because my bed squeaks. Why would you do <laughs> This guy needs to be fired. Everyone, please read pages 81 to 96. I'm kidding. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with the teacher heavy, bro. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Is he gonna get fired? That's my goat. This is it, baby. You're going down. Yeah, fuck you, Bobby. You are. Take your best shot. Oh, the Boston Bruins, as a Canadian, bro, these are our fucking direct enemies, bro. I was fucking with Ted until he had the Boston Bruins jersey. Dude. Ted probably doesn't even know that Canada exists yet, if we're being honest. That's why I fuck with him even less, dude. Hey, how'd it go? Good. It went pretty well. <laughs> Seems like it went pretty solid. He agreed with everything she said, and he took a shit on everything I said. If Dr. Feldstein's not neutral, then... Who would be? Dr. Fauci? Give us vaccines? Ted, look out! Dude, the dad is definitely an anti-vaxxer. There's no fucking question about it. I'm not shooting something in my fucking arm. Ted. Yeah, he's an even guy. Minds his own business, he's neutral. Minds his own business as he makes snide jokes over every single thing that happens. Everything is in his joke business. The suit wasn't necessary. Blair, please. Johnny is my best friend. Oh my god, he looks so good. Where are they finding these tailored clothes? That Hollywood money, bro. He still has his residuals, okay? What uh, originally attracted you to Susan? Her innocence. Oh, God. That's like the worst thing you could possibly say. So when we got there, Maddie realized that Garfunkel was a man. So we had to leave. What? <laughs> Why? Two men shouldn't be singing harmony. Harmonizing is gay. Well, two men harmonizing is gay. Uh... And he danced with me right there. On the grass. You remember that? Of course I do. That's really cute. Even though he was homophobic, like, that was, like, the cutest homophobic boyfriend thing. Dude, it's Boston in the 90s. Like, 99% of people are homophobic, bro. Like, just deal with it. What did you study? Well, I, uh, I was gonna teach. She does give big teacher energy. She gives, like, preschool teacher energy. I mean, have you ever thought of going back to it? I think you'd be great. Oh, no. This is gonna be the moment where the episode just changes and then she becomes a teacher for like the last 20 minutes of the episode. Yeah. We just found out Susan has no identity outside this family. I mean, she's a wife, she's a mother. Depressed John Cutaway. John is gonna start listening to Linkin Park in like five minutes. This boy needs some therapy too. Somehow we gotta help her find her voice. I mean, we're the only ones that can do it. I like how Blair subtly changed it from being like couples therapy to just therapy for the mom. It's way easier to change Susan than it is to change Maddie. Maddie is so fucking impossible. Did you hear what happened to Mr. George? No, what? He got fired. Oh shit, why? Why? They caught him in the faculty lounge screaming at his own d That's what, not because he was yelling about <laughs> masturbating in front of that student. You're not gonna let me f I'm not gonna let you pee! <laughs> <laughs> Ted son, Ted! They're looking for a sub. Yeah, so? So what about mom? I love Susan. I think she's a great character. I don't think she's smart enough to teach at a high school level. I don't know if she's allowed to pick up on the cues, man. You hire her. And the next time there's an anti-drug assembly and they ask for questions, I will ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> like, who should I tell if I suspect a peer is on drugs? Oh my god, he's the greatest fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> They want me to take over for Mr. George. Is she, like, smart enough to, like, drive to school without getting lost? That's what I'm fucking saying, dude. Like, get her a fucking, like, job babysitting or something. I don't know, like... You're not embarrassed to have your mother teaching your class? I already walk around school with my teddy bear. I think I'll be fine. So <laughs> self-aware, dude. Aw, she looks so happy. This is so nice. He's gonna fail school because of this, because she's gonna teach history, and she's gonna teach them that 9-11 was an inside job. Oh my, she made it to school. Is all of the stuff she teaches gonna be really out of date though? It's gotta blow up somehow. I'm a little new at this, so I hope you'll be patient with me. Bro, saying that, you're throwing the fish into the fucking piranha water. You cannot show any weakness. They're gonna kill her. My grandma has curtains in her bathroom and I think that they might be the same pattern. What a funny coincidence. Leave her alone, Aaron. Yeah, some of us are here to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Leave her alone. Aren't you the guy who asked the question at assembly? No! <laughs> it's like you're tagged forever as the guy who asked the question at the drug assembly. Yeah, that ruins his reputation for the rest of the high school. So I figured this is a good time to 
tell you? We all know about the nose job you had last year. <laughs> oh my god! You didn't need to roast her like this. Well, you did. Never mind. Your dad is really your uncle, which may have subconsciously fucked you up and caused your eating disorder, which is also no secret because everybody's heard you throwing up in the bathroom. <laughs> Ted, you went too far. <laughs> He's hitting too hard, bro. He's hitting too hard. <laughs> this is not self-defense anymore, Ted. You fucking killed her. We don't do enough for Susan at home, so I felt obligated to say those things. Jesus, her life! But he is still the guy who said that shit at the assembly, though. I used to think my ears were too big. And then one day, I saw a picture in a magazine of a girl with a deformed ear. Oh my god. Where are you going with this? Someone was worse off than her, bro. Maybe I had more to be grateful for than I knew because at least I had both my ears. This is horrible advice. There's always someone worse off than you. Why is it horrible advice? It's like very basic good advice. Yeah, but this is just like, well, I understand you have problems, but there are children starving in Africa, so... <laughs> Would you like some chocolate milk? No. What? Who the hell says no to chocolate milk? She has an eating disorder. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. Maybe it makes sense. <laughs> Next time, it's going to be even better. Blair, I'm not like you. You want something different out of life than I do. They all want her to be a girl boss. That's not her, bro. I mean, the best part of my day was helping that that girl with the nose job. Oh, it's a terrible nose job. It's a terrible nose job. <laughs> <laughs> that poor actress, bro. That actress is about to break down after this. I don't understand how that can be enough. I don't wanna. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to yell. She spoke up for herself. That's my goat. The character development. Okay. The women of Aunt Susan's generation can be happy with so little. I don't like those women either. They need to have more ambition like us. <laughs> As he looks at the fucking TV smoking his fucking blood. I fucking love this show, dude. Oh my god. This is gonna be a thing, isn't it? That the three of us getting high? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, enjoy your new life. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your new life. It's over. Yeah, she just joined the squad. Blair is the goat. If you th thought that was a, a Ted-tastic episode, like the video for more Ted and subscribe. Thanks to Aeromir, Alzheimer's is a bad disease, we should cure it. Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Calm Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal X Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, G3 Om, Gov, Stargazer, Gioni Snare, Yorison, Helio, Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Mirak55, Native5, Omega Waffles by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.